Check now to see if it's live, Ash. Hey, is that you watching? Someone's watching. The last platform I have left. Hello, Ryan. Give it a share, people. Give it a share. How much longer will I have YouTube for? What's been going on? What's been going on is that since we released Pano Drama, which categorically proved the establishment, organisations like Hope Not Hate, working alongside the BBC in order to create and invent news to destroy my name, that documentary went out for 24 hours before I was removed from the internet. John Sweeney is still in a job. Why is he still in a job? I'll tell you why. Because we have further recordings of John Sweeney that say that last time the BBC tried to get rid of him, he had things against them. He had things against them. Our corrupt media. I cannot get on Instagram, I cannot get on Facebook. Now, what I'd ask you all to do is share Pano Drama with absolutely everybody you can. Share the link from my YouTube. I'd also ask. I'd also give them, my message would be simple. In the first three months of my formation for the English Defence League, I was arrested, my homes were raided three times. You thought that would stop us. It didn't. You then imprisoned me on bogus charges after holding my wife as ransom against me in a bogus mortgage fraud charge. You thought putting me in prison and locking me in a room and having me beaten near to death by Muslim prisoners would stop me. It didn't. You thought deleting us from Twitter would stop us. It didn't. You thought removing our PayPal would stop us. It affected us. They stopped our donation link by 70%. Did it stop us? No, it didn't. We just produced the most professional expose on the BBC this country has ever seen, has ever witnessed. It didn't stop us. If you think deleting us from Facebook or Instagram will stop us, no, it won't. It will hinder us, it won't stop us. Over 100,000 people have signed up at www.tr.news in the last 24 hours. To every one of you who have signed up, I thank you. Oh, Nick, I can then keep in contact with you. If you're all wondering now what you can do, share that website. It is currently work in progress. We're working on it. We all knew this was going to happen. The fact there's evidence now that Facebook sat down with Islamist radical groups, with Mohammed Shafiq, a man who called for the murder of Majid Nawaz because of his blasphemy committed against Mohammed. Facebook sit down and take instructions. The government work with these radicals. All of them work hand in hand for their agenda. Their agenda is the replacement of you, each one of you, of us, of our culture and our communities. The influx of open door migration from the Middle East. The replacement that's happening across the world of Western civilization with barbarians. And we're supposed to keep quiet. And you can now see the lengths they will go to, to silence us all. They're not just censoring me, they're censoring you. They're censoring you from having the ability to make your own mind up, whether you agree with me or not. 
Whether you agree with Jeremy Corbyn or not, whether you agree with any of these ideas, you have to be able to hear the ideas and hear the counter arguments. What they've done is completely delete my ability off those platforms. The lies, that's what they are, the lies that Facebook are putting out, the lies that are being run across this world by the media, that I, that I have instigated murder and violence against Muslims. Every one of you who follow me know that's a lie. What they have done is exposed themselves. They've shown the power they have and the cooperation between big tech companies and the establishment. I'm currently in talks with others who have been censored and looking at the possibility of a mass march against the big tech giants. That's what we're currently looking at. But what do I need to do? I need to build my own platform. I knew that anyway. I need to build my own app. I knew that anyway. We all need somewhere we can go. Will this stop people wanting to listen to Tommy Robinson? One, the biggest platform, political platform in Britain was my Facebook page. The most engaged, above Theresa May, above Jeremy Corbyn, above the Labour Party, above the Conservative Party. That doesn't change. Those people that followed me, that listened to me, that engaged with me, are still there. They're still in our country. You can attempt your indoctrination like you will through the education system, through your hate groups like Hope Not Hate. You can attempt to indoctrinate the next generation of youth in this country. But all you will sense or all you will get is rebellion against that. Now, anyone who wants to continue this, I knew this was coming, you knew this was coming, we all knew this was coming. Is this gonna stop us? No, it's not, that's the clear message we have. Today, Amazon removed my book, Muhammad's Quran, Why Muslims Kill for Islam. They are literally burning books. You can go on Amazon and you can buy Mein Kampf, you can buy Hitler's book, but you can't buy Tommy Robinson's. If this isn't a awakening call for every single one of you to realise that they will silence us or they will attempt to, that everyone will be put back in their box, that any, uh, any dissidence, any difference of opinion will be shut down hand in hand <coughs> and America, Donald Trump, <clears throat> you must see the documentary Panodrama, which proved everything. It's still currently on my YouTube channel as it has been viewed half a million times in the last 48 hours. Share it. Understand it. Understand that the BBC, the establishment, are all working together to destroy anyone who goes against them. The idea, I've always said we live in a post free speech era. We don't live in a democracy. Look what they're doing with Brexit. We live in a Stalinist society where those who have a different of opinion will be silenced through pressure and relationships between governments and big tech giants. What are Facebook doing sitting down with radical little Muslims from Rochdale? What is going on? The lies that are being spouted about me currently now. Now, if you look at the timing of this, Panorama's documentary about me, the hatchet job, which you've all seen evidence of, was due to come out the second week in February. Hope Not Hate's national report was due to come out at the same time. They were working together. And then my ability to tell you the truth about what's going on was to be taken away as they have. If it's not evidence to every single one of you of the lengths they're going to go to to destroy our nation, that's what's happening. Our country's being destroyed from within. People are selling us out. They're selling you out. Every single one of us. And thank you to every one of you currently here showing me support. If I can ask again, I want you to stress, share far and wide. Share Panodrama. Share the link on YouTube. Currently, if you go to www tr.news. There is a subscribe button. It is free to subscribe 
As I've said, people have done that in the last 24 hours. 100,000. The more they try and censor us, I just can't do this. I need your help. I need your help. Now, I'm currently in discussions with lawyers. These are all options. And looking at taking Facebook to court. They're lies. They're telling lies. Complete lies. And if you can't see the timing of this, the minute that the BBC and the government and Hope Not Hate were exposed to the world, the minute they removed my ability to talk to you. Spread the documentary far and wide. And is that my 10 minute rant over? Is that rant long enough? How much longer will I have the ability to rant to you on, on YouTube like this? People who are putting up, I am Tommy Robinson, are being removed from Facebook and given 30 day bans. The evidence you all needed to see the lengths they're gonna go to. As I've said, keep your eyes peeled, sign up at tr.news so I can update you with any videos. If I make a video, I'll email it to half a million people tomorrow. When it goes to those half a million people, they will share it, whether it be online or in WhatsApp groups across the country. You will not stop what's happening. You, a movement has been created. One appeal I'd have, Donald Trump. If you don't step in now, the platforms and the voices that will share the truth of what they're doing are being removed across the world. I saw your son put up, if you don't speak now, you are complicit. I saw people have to speak now. Everyone knows I've not incited any violence against Muslims. If I would have incited violence against Muslims, do you not think the British police would have arrested me? Share this, share it far, share it wide. And the website is www.tr.news. It is work in progress. You will find a holding page. You will find the Panodrama documentary and then a link. And I ask every one of you, subscribe at that link. That link is the ability I will have in the future to contact you, to speak to you and to show you the videos I'm making. So, it's just another hurdle put in the way. It's never going to stop us. I'll let you all go now. I might have another rant later once I have more news. When I have the news, I'm in talks, as I said, I'm in talks with people from different countries about holding a massive anti-censorship demonstration in London, probably outside Facebook's offices, but we're in talks. We need it not to be about Tommy Robinson being censored, but to be about everyone who's being censored. Now, again, the hypocrisy. The Muslim Brotherhood is still on social media. Terrorist organisations are still on social media. Rapists are still on social media. Child abusers are still on social media. All the efforts to silence are being used against the opposition to globalism, the opposition to Islam. It's real. 6.2 thousand people watching without notice. At least you now know this is where you'll find me. Share this fast, share this wide again. I'm going to ask you again how important it is. Go to tr.news. Share Panodrama with everybody you know. It's Panodrama that has had me erased from the internet. Goodbye. Thank you, everyone. And by the way, anyone in Helsinki, I'm landing in Finland. I'm coming tomorrow. Why am I going to Finland? Because the mainstream are ignoring a documentary. When the refugees come to Finland, cameras were given to one of the refugees. They were given to multiple people to tell the story that happened. A lovely young man, from what I've witnessed in the footage, had come into the country as a refugee, a real refugee. But very quickly he realised that many of the people he was housed with were terrorists and terrorist supporters. It tells that story. It then shows how the rape crisis hit Finland. It shows how Finland suffered its first terrorist attack. And guess what? The mainstream will not air that documentary. Well, on Friday, I'll be at the premier screening of it. 
And now, I'm sorry, I can't share that with you on Facebook or Instagram. That's why they've deleted it, because they don't want you to see the truth. They don't want you to have a balanced opinion on what's happening. They want you to believe what they tell you. That is it, which is fake news. The reality is very different. I'll be in Helsinki coming this weekend. And then actually, I'll give another date. Will I give another date? I'll give another date later. Then we're going for a free speech rally as well. There's going to be in Antwerp with Philip de Winter. Anyway, good night. I'm just surprised they haven't tried to kill me off. In you, look at everything they're doing. Look how much they fear it. How do I end that? How do you end this? I'm going to have to ask for help here, bruv. I don't want to see anywhere else. <laughs> Is it? <laughs>